Next up, we'll learn how to delete an item from the linked list by the given value. Uh, let's say we want to delete this 45, this particular node. Now, the funda is very simple to be honest. What we have to do is we have to somehow remove this item from the given list. Right now, this item is connected to these two nodes, the previous one and the next one. Somehow, we have to bypass this connection and we have to create a new connection like this. So in a way, I'm trying to tell you this, I want this node to be pointing to this node instead of this 45 node. So the concept is very clear. We'll have to find out this node, then we'll ask the previous node to point to the next node of this node. That's the funda. So this is if this is the previous node, this is the current node, and this is the next node. What we want is we somehow want previous to be pointing to the next node. So listen carefully. So previous dot next is nothing but current, right? And current dot next is actually next let's call it n okay so this is n now just think about it can we write this that uh, instead of this current we can replace it here and it actually becomes this i know this is uh, a bit mathematical i'm trying to tell you in a very mathematical manner but listen to this previous dot next is nothing but current and this current also has a next pointer and this is pointing to n, right? So don't you think the overall code will become only this? You'll simply write previous dot next dot next is equal to current dot next. That's the code, okay? There's only one problem. The problem is this, that in a single linked list, you always have address pointers for the next node. You, you are not allowed to fetch the previous node. So what I'm trying to tell you is, once you are uh, beyond this node and you have reached this node, you can never go back, okay? So the solution to this problem is, by iterating through the linked list, rather than stopping at this point, the item that we are searching for, instead of stopping at this point, we'll stop at this point, okay? How can we do that? By writing this simple pseudocode, I'll explain how can we do that. We'll start with the head, obviously. So we'll take temp to be equal to head. Then we'll write a loop while temp dot next is not null. Think about it. We are going to run this loop. The condition is while temp dot next is not null. And inside here, we'll check if temp dot next dot data is equal to equal to 45 the item that we are searching for in that case we'll break the loop now just think about it what is the value inside of temp which node will be stored in temp i'll just uh, run this code on this loop uh, this particular link list i'll show you how it works so initially the value of temp is 25 right the condition is while temp dot next is not null. If this is true, we'll get inside. So obviously if this is true, we'll get inside because next is not null, instead it's 60. If temp dot next, basically this guy, uh, I'm sorry, temp dot next is this guy, dot data is 45. It's not 45, it's 60, so we'll not break. We'll again go to the loop. Uh, by the way, one more thing. Over here, you will increment temp to be equal to temp dot next every time, okay? So you enter, you check, this is not 45, so you increment it. Now, the value of 10 is 60, this guy. Now, while 10 dot next is not null, again this is true, it's not null, you get inside. If 10 dot next, which is, which is actually this node, is equal to equal to 45, you break. Okay, so now this loop will be broken. Now, think about it. What's the value inside 10? Obviously this node. Right? And now what we'll do is, you'll simply write this piece of code. temp.next, basically this guy, 
dot next is equal to 10 uh, I'm sorry the code should be 10 dot next is equal to 10 dot next should be equal to 10 dot next this guy's next this is the main line just think about it so I'm once I have uh, fetched out the previous item I'm simply writing this piece of code 10 dot next this pointer will be equal to 10 dot next dot next so now you're making this connection okay so I hope this entire logic is clear there's only one caveat the problem is this what if you are trying to delete 25 which is your head in that case you cannot fetch the previous item and this code will not work in that case what you have to do is you have to write a separate special case where you handle the situation you check if the item that you are trying to delete if it is head then you write a separate piece of code so you are basically going to write a code where you delete the head and you already know how to delete the, code, uh, delete the head okay so i hope this entire discussion is clear now let's jump into the coding part so that you get the entire concept clearly So the first thing that we will do is, uh, let's create a function, uh, actually a method, by the name of delete item, and it will receive an item to be deleted. Okay, and over here, the first thing that you will do is, you will uh, actually search, you'll actually find whether this item is the head so you'll write this code if self dot head dot data is equal to equal to item this means that the item that we are trying to delete is the head node so the deletion process is very simple you'll use the concept we learned in the delete from head video so what you'll do is you simply write self dot head will be equal to self dot head dot Next, that's it, right? And you will return. The function will return, okay? No further uh, computation will be done. No further uh, logic will be executed. If this is not the case, if the item that we are trying to delete is not the first item, then what we will do is, uh, we'll first take a variable by the name of temp. Initially, it will hold the value for head. Then we'll write a loop while temp dot next is not none. Okay. And over here you will check if temp dot next dot data is equal to equal to item. That means we have found out the item. We'll simply break from the loop. Right. And meanwhile, uh, Every time you go inside the loop, you're going to increment the value of temp by writing this piece of code, right? And once you're out of the loop, now there are two possibilities. The first possibility is that you were able to find out that particular item. The second possibility is that the item does not exist in the linked list. Okay. So how do we know if the item does not exist in the linked list? The answer is simple. If you have traversed this whole linked list, and the item uh, this break was never executed now just think about it uh, we are writing this condition temp dot next so this loop will stop at the tail position so if we are at the tail position we know that the item was not found so we'll simply write this check if temp dot next is none think about it if the value of temp dot next is none you are actually stopped you have actually stopped on the tail so you have not found out the item so you'll simply print out item not found in the else part although you know that you have found out the item so what you will do is you'll simply write this piece of code temp dot next will be equal to temp dot next dot next and that is the code right let's run this code uh, let's add some item first we'll create an object of linked list let's add some items
one last item and this is the linked list right now right now let's say uh, I want to delete 78 so if I try to delete 78 let's see whether it worked or not and you can see you are able to delete it okay now we'll try to delete 45 okay so we'll write ll dot delete uh, item and the item to be deleted is 45 and now if I run Travers you can see it's working okay one last case we'll try to delete an item which is not present in the linked list let's say thousand and you're getting this item not found uh, error message okay so I hope uh, deletion is clear uh, so thanks for watching the video